Hello, I'm Jen Cram with the Breckenridge Arts District and I'm back at the Tin Shop with guest artist Ben Pond. Ben is here visiting from Toledo, Ohio and Ben does works on paper that range from pastel to graphite to printmaking mm -hmm. and Ben will be here through March 23rd. You're welcome to come by and see him during open studio hours Thursday through Sunday from 2 to 6 p.m. And Ben, what will you be working on when people stop by? Well, you know, I'll be drawing. I've, I've taken a few walks. I've taken pictures of Breckenridge. I usually work from, uh, you know, my surroundings. You know, I like to sort of draw things that I move through. And so the town of Breckenridge and the architecture and the snow and the mountain scenes will all just get sort of mashed up into some drawings. I love just walking into the studio since you've been here a short amount of time and seeing how you're juxtapositioning the mountains and the architecture and I can pick up tidbits of things that I recognize and then some things that um, make me wonder so it's it's going to be exciting to see yeah yeah you know you I, I hope so I hope people do recognize you know bits of Breckenridge in here I mean I don't you know I don't ever know what the end result's going to be I just it, it's very sort of you know, I just sort of, I guess it's intuition, this process mm -hmm. of drawing and looking at sort of details and bits, but, you know, I do hope it has a nice sense of the place that I'm working, so. You were talking earlier about your process, walking around, taking photos, and then you watch a video of those or slides of those? Yeah, I kind of, I piece them together into a, essentially a, a film so that I'm kind of forced into drawing things that change. You know, I don't have, I might pause it every once in a while, but I want to, uh, I want to be sort of constantly moving, I suppose, and so I don't want to be focused on something for too long. Right. So it ends up sort of piling on itself, you know, these bits of information yeah. and detail, yeah. Your drawings definitely, you know, your eye is moving all around, picking up, you're not focused on, on one thing, I love it. I, I want things, I mean, I want to draw something that's changing and moving, but I also want a viewer to kind of look at it and, and, and have the, the image look like it's moving and changing yeah. while they're viewing it. It absolutely creates a timelessness for all of them because it, it's contemporary, it's historic, you're in this place, you're in another place. It's, it's Yeah, well, I think Breckenridge kind of provides that, that material. I mean, there's, uh, there's, it's, it's quaint, it's beautiful, there's, there's history here, but then you've got um, I, you've got ski culture and all the color and pizzazz and stuff like that too, so it's very interesting. I'm glad that we have a good variety of things to, to keep you busy while you're here. Do you have a, a focus, um, a specific project that you would like to accomplish while you're here? Um, you know, I've started with drawings of mm -hmm. Breckenridge mm -hmm. and I would like to accomplish some that I'm very proud of that I feel like become resolved, but I also, you know, like to draw portraits and other things and I think it's I mean this devoted studio time um, is great because I can just I can sort of do some experiments and just try you know whatever sort of comes to mind nice. so there's going to be a lot of color but I might you know you know experiment with some other things too. Right for you regular viewers I know I've said this before but for those of you who may be just watching us for the first time, the Tin Shop is our guest artist program and it provides time and space for artists to come here away from their distractions at home and just really focus on a project, the medium of their choice. And so it is a wonderful retreat for artists, but uh, because they have their studios open for the public, it's a great opportunity for all of you to come in and meet artists from around the country and internationally, see what they're working on, ask questions, learn a little bit about some mediums that you might not have the opportunity to do on um, any other day. So Absolutely. I mean, retreat, I think, is a good description of what it, what it sort of provides for you. So Ben, you will also be teaching a workshop mm -hmm. here. Um, all of our guest artists teach a workshop and Ben will be doing drawing the mm -hmm. measurement project mm -hmm. and that will be Thursday, March 20th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. And if you are interested in reserving space for that, you can go on our website at www 
breckarts.com or you can call the hotline at 970-453-3364. And can you tell us a little bit about that workshop? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I um, deal a lot with, I think, ideas when I draw. And traditionally, drawing is a, a medium for sketching, mm -hmm. for uh, preparing for other works of art. But um, I, I think this is a, a project where you're asked to sort of use it in a very simple way, but accomplish a significant work of art. It's not just a study, it's not just practice, it's, um, it's you know, it's fine art, just like, you know, anything else, sculpture, painting. And so I think it, it's sort of, it, it, it's about ideas, but it's also about simple drawing as well. So you'll really be taking people through the process of sketching it, getting their ideas out onto paper, and then taking it um, I read a little bit of, about the description, kind of maybe learning a little bit about how to abstract the things yeah, that they see. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's um, it's a project where initially we're going to talk about ideas, mm -hmm. and maybe they're sketching in a sketchbook, which is very traditional drawing. Mm -hmm. But then there comes a point where you're going to have a big sheet of paper, and you're going to be asked to create this very simple, idea-driven abstraction. Okay. And I, I think it's a, it's, it's a very good, I, I guess I feel it's like a good learning project because mm -hmm. it, it, it forces students into considering ideas um, more than anything else. And so, I mean, drawing is very immediate and you can just go right at it with drawing. I mean, it's, and there's... Right, um, and that, really the simplest of tools. Simplest of tools, absolutely. And, and they can accomplish very profound things at mm -hmm. the same time. So I think that's why I kind of like this type of project. So if you're interested in drawing or just interested in learning more about how Ben draws, we will have lots of materials here for you to experiment with or bring your own sketch pad. And uh, we would love to see you on March 20th. Absolutely. Um, where do you get your inspiration, like, you, you know, your style? Is there, are there any other artists or movements that... Well, you know, I... I'm curious. <laughs> I'm, I'm inspired by what I see, um, but I don't, you know, and, and so perception is a very big part of what mm -hmm. I choose to draw. Um, but at the same time, I, I mean, my first, one of my first inspirations is abstraction. Mm -hmm. Big, beautiful, abstract paintings. And so I, I kind of um, want to sort of wed, you know, my interest in looking at something, mm -hmm. being inspired by that, but also sort of the idea of abstraction kind of um, I don't, I don't, narrowing something down to a kind of an essence. Yeah. And so um, I try to sort of weave those together. Um, and, you know, right now I do look at a lot of minimalist art that's yeah. very different from what I do, but it's just, it seems to, I guess the logic and purity of it yes. seems to really inspire me. I did a workshop with the kids last Monday and they learned about Jackson Pollock. Mm -hmm. And then we did splash paintings, of mm -hmm. course. And there's so much more than you know, the layering and, you know, just this whole process. Mm -hmm. And so the kids learned about abstract expressionism. And so... I, abstraction, I think, is, is it's, a very, it's a very creative, you know, force yeah. I mean, when you think about it. Um, and I, but I think it's hard for students to grasp that. So if you can have an exercise or an assignment that sort of introduces people to that possibility, I think that kind of opens up. Yes, and you know, seeing possibly. the layers of it or the simplicity of it and yeah. understanding the process. So, yeah. well, I am really looking forward to having you here this month, Ben, and Thank you. seeing your process evolve and learning more about it. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. <laughs>